Welcome to the Dim Drive tutorial on our Steam integration. Dim Drive is a gaming RAM disk that creates a virtual hard drive that enables you to run games at an insane speed from that virtual hard drive. If we take a look at a benchmark here, Dim Drive on the far right over here is getting over 10,000 megabytes per second, between 7,000 and 12,000 megabytes per second, versus we can see very high end solid state drives, even a rate of solid state drives does not get even close to the speed of Dim Drive. So imagine a giant game that has a lot of graphics that need to load really quickly on your computer, loading at a speed between seven and 12,000 megabytes per second. It is insanely awesome. So we're gonna close this and I'm gonna show you how Dim Drive integrates with Steam automatically. If we take a look at my Steam library, we'll see a whole bunch of games listed. So pretty, pretty standard. And then we take a look at Dim Drive. I'm gonna run the application here and it will automatically detect all of the games that I have installed with Steam. And we can take a look and we can see all the different games that I have with Steam right here inside Dim Drive. Now, not only will it detect the games, it will automatically configure them to work with Dim Drive as well. Let's take a look at Castle Story, for example. Castle Story, if I wanna use this in Dim Drive, I simply need to set up the Dim Drive size. We have six gigs. Then I need to just look at how big Castle Story is and it's 0.6 gigs, which will easily fit. I need to click on and then I need to enable Dim Drive and that's it. Now, before I show you a couple steps more, let's say that your game was larger than six gigs. Let's take a look at Skyrim, for example. My Skyrim install is, I believe, 14. Yeah, 14 gigs in size. Now, my Dim Drive size is only six gigs in size, so it will not fit. Now, Dim Drive creates a hard drive out of RAM, and that's why the drive is so incredibly fast, but you have to have enough RAM to support that size. So my dim drive size is six gigs. So we're gonna to go to the less RAM option in dim drive and it will still work. We'll still be able to have a 14 gig size game work with a smaller dim drive size. Now I would go to Skyrim and I would pick the files that I wanna go fast. And let's say I'm doing the Dragonborn expansion with the high res expand, or, uh, texture packs. I would just simply enable these particular files, hit submit and we'll now notice that the game, instead of being 14 gigs, is 5.6 gigs. And considering our dim drive is 6 gig in size, we have ample space. I would just close this, turn on Skyrim, and I would be good to go. But we're going to show you Castle Story. So we're going to enable Castle Story. We're going to click on, and then we're going to click dim drive on. And that's all you need to do. Two clicks and that's it. Now you have Castle Story running off of your RAM disk. So you may ask, how do you know it's running off your RAM disk? Well, here's how we know. If we go back to the settings of Dim Drive, we notice we had the R drive and then six gigs in size. So if we open Drive, it'll just open up standard Windows Explorer. It'll show us an R drive here called Dim Drive. And it'll show us one file folder that is called Castle Story. And we'll notice all the Castle Story files are inside of that. So you can run Castle Story directly from here, or you can take advantage of how Dim Drive automatically integrates Castle Story with virtually everything. All your desktops shortcuts, it'll integrate it directly in Steam, and it'll integrate it in Dim Drive's launcher. So you could actually click Launch within Dim Drive and launch Castle Story. You can see the size configuration window popped up, so we're just gonna close that. Or you could launch Castle Story directly from Steam. We're gonna click play game, and again, the Castle Story configuration window popped up. So you're wondering, how do we know that the Steam application is running Castle Story from your Dim Drive RAM disk? That's pretty easy. We can right click on the Castle Story app, go to properties, go to local files and browse the local files. So this is actually showing us where Steam gets the files for that particular game. Browse local files, so we're gonna move back one directory. This is the directory where Steam has all of its different games installed. We notice there's a castle story with a little shortcut icon. If we right click on that, we're gonna click properties and we're gonna notice now that this folder is actually in the R drive and then the Castle Story folder on the R drive. So Steam itself is pulling the Castle Story game files from this R drive. And if you recall, when we go over to Dim Drive, Dim Drive is actually the R drive. And if we open that up, 
we are going to notice that dim drive is installed or dim drive has installed castle story into this folder on the r drive if we look at what steam's trying to run we'll notice that these are the same folders see this r227860 castle story and then the same one right here so now when we launch castle story within steam it will launch it directly from the ram based hard drive that dim drive has created now one of the fun things is this ram by very nature is volatile meaning that when you turn off your computer or your computer crashes or whatever happens your ram, your ram gets erased now dim drive has this feature that synchronizes the ram with your actual hard drive on your computer so let's say you're playing Castle Story and your computer turns off for whatever reason. Someone trips over a power cable. Dim Drive will automatically write back any file changes from Castle Story back to your normal generic hard drive. So for example, if we play Castle Story, it looks like from launching it, we have a couple programs listed here. So if we hit play or a couple files and we just change this like this, um, we're going to change it to be a little tiny windowed mode. We'll change the graphic to, let's say, fastest. We're going to hit play. Castle Story is going to launch up its Unity engine and it's going to start firing things away. Take a look, whoops, take a look at uh, synced down here. We have output log, a whole bunch of output log uh, files here. When we close Castle Story, Castle Story writes a settings file. See the settings.txt? And it writes uh, some log files. Now remember we changed the settings to be a smaller game window. Now because we changed that, Dim Drive writes that file automatically back to the traditional hard drive that you have Castle Story installed on. So now if our computer turned off, nothing would be lost. Those settings would be saved. And that's just one of the ways that Dim Drive will integrate with Steam. So now we're going to turn Dim Drive off. Dim Drive is going to make sure all the synchronization is done and everything is smooth and it's going to deconfigure itself. Now we can tell Dim Drive is deconfigured by going back into Steam, going to Properties, and we're going to take a look at the files that Steam plays Castle Story from. We're going to browse local files, we're going to move back one directory, and we're going to notice there is no longer a shortcut on the Castle Story directory. So if we go to Properties, there is no longer a little thing here saying that it's now on the R drive because it is no longer on the R drive. And again, if we want to set it up, we just simply turn Dim Drive on. Dim Drive will copy the files over, synchronize everything, create the symbolic links, make sure all the integration with Steam is all done. And once again, go to Steam, go to Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files. We'll see Castle Story has the little link. And then once again, back to the R drive. So now Steam is playing Castle Story from Dim Drive. We can launch it directly from Steam by the play game. We can launch it within Dim Drive itself by launching it. Or let's pretend you had Castle Story as a shortcut on your desktop. That shortcut would now work from Dim Drive as well. So everything is smoothly integrated within Steam. Everything is automatically set up and everything is just a couple mouse clicks away. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions about Dim Drive, and the Steam integration or anything else about Dim Drive, please check out our forums, forums.dimdrive.com, where either myself or somebody from our community can answer your question. Thanks for watching this video and have fun gaming.